All right, guys, what is up? What is going on? It is Sunday. We have another project. So the Dodge has created an issue, which has somewhat been an issue for a little while, uh, but it hasn't been to this extent and on this side. Um, I've been having issues with the front brakes on the truck. It'll pull hard right whenever you have to really get on the brakes, but whenever you're not on the brakes much at all, you know, use them like normal not in an emergency braking situation, they do just fine. So maybe not right to do so, but I've somewhat ignored it just because I've been focusing on other things in the meantime. But I got out of it the other day and just under normal braking, wasn't doing any extreme braking or anything. I drove it home from work and I noticed brake smell. So I kind of smelled it and you know, I put it off as, hey, you know, I kind of got on the brakes a little hard coming in the neighborhood. Wasn't that hard really to be honest, but I was just kind of putting it off, you know, like turn the radio up, just, you know, make it up, I guess. But, uh, so I ignored it, went on and, uh, drove it to work the next day and, uh, I get home and same thing, park it in the driveway, get out of the truck. I noticed excessive brake smell. And this day I thought about the day before and I knew that I had not gotten on the brakes at all, any kind of in a funky way, not hard, nothing at all. So... I started poking around the driver's side front brake caliper i believe is starting to lock up or the hardware is starting to stick regardless it is having some kind of a brake issue within that caliper brake hardware brake pads something in that driver's side is starting to have some issues so what i did is i went on good old rock auto and i got us a power stop drilled and slotted brake rotor kit. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description for it. It comes with the uh, drilled and slotted rotors, uh, brake pads, performance performance brake pads, and it came with a set of calipers for all four corners. Because I figure truck's got 200 and oh about 400 miles. I'll be doing another oil change. Truck's got 200 and basically 85,000 miles on it now, and I don't know if I mean I would imagine the brakes have been serviced in between then. But I figured I've, this is something I've wanted to do to the truck anyways, so it was time to pull the trigger, go ahead and do it. So let me get you all set up. Uh, I'll get these boxes opened up. We'll make sure we have all the parts before we get to work. And then other than that, I'll show you what we got and what we're gonna be doing and we'll get to it. So hang in just a second and we'll be right back. Goodness. Box on box on box all right back to the trusty tape shredder oh that was horrible center on cut Oh, get in a rush. Okay. Oh my goodness. There's no shortage of boxes that came in this order. <laughs> What's up with these? Let me guess. Another box? No. Woo! We found part. <laughs> okay. That's a rear rotor. <laughs> so many boxes, dude. You just open it up. You think you're going to see a cool looking part and you just find another box. My goodness. But that's good for shipment. Okay, I guess I got that one. So we'll go to this one. And this would be a front rotor, I believe. Okay. Whew. I'm just going to pull out one of these calipers real quick. Yeah, I'm going to pull out one of these calipers. I imagine that's what this is. Ooh. 
Oh, cool. That makes it easy. Good deal. Okay, so. Uh, that bright red, because race truck. Just kidding. But uh, that was the only option. I was looking for black, but uh, they didn't have that option. So I got red. But uh, yeah, that's it. So we got four rotors, two sets of brake pads, of course, front and rear. Um, these little black boxes here should be brake hoses. Since I was having issues with the front, like I said, the truck's got 285,000 miles. I went ahead and bought brake hoses. I just got temporary brake hoses for now because I couldn't really find a good set of uh, stainless steel braided hoses that I wanted to spend the money on right now. So I just got a set of factory replacements for the front. Rear hasn't been giving me any issues, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Later on down the road, we'll do stainless steel braided hoses for a better pedal feel. But all else, we got bright red race truck calipers. We have drilled and slotted front rotor, drilled and slotted rear rotors, brake pads, like I said, brake hoses, and the power stop kit actually came with um, grease for your slide pins and everything. So that's cool. I already have some, of course, I got the big bottle. But uh, yeah, so that's cool. And out of the way, we got brake fluid. I went with this Presto Dot 4. Because if the truck needs it, I got two big bottles just because if the truck does end up needing it once I look at the brake fluid, then I may just try to do a brake fluid flush. But I went with dot four. I guess this truck calls for dot three, but I read the back of this bottle and this is for use in dot four and dot three systems. Typically with dot three, you can mix dot four into it from my understanding and it will upgrade the quality of the brake fluid because that's all it is it's a higher boiling point on the dot four fluid so it'll essentially upgrade the quality of the fluid but you shouldn't have an issue doing that they say you can mix dot three with dot four it just degrades the quality of the fluid vice versa so if you do have a dot four system then make sure to run dot four if you have a dot three system then just make sure to get a fluid that specifically says on the back of it that it'll mix with no issues with dot three and you'll be good to go and throw it on there and run it bud but uh yeah so that's it we got our jack stands out i only have three because i forgot i have one under that junk truck which hopefully will be going bye bye soon i'm gonna grab a couple parts off of it and then uh yeah get rid of it I'm tired of looking at it it's ugly it's in my driveway don't like it but uh without further ado we're gonna get set up uh we're gonna get the back end off the ground break the lug nuts loose we're gonna get the back end off the ground and uh we're gonna get to work. So uh, yeah, check it out. Okay, now we got the truck jacked up in there on jack stands. Pull the rear wheels off of it. There it is. Two things. There's some light. Yeah, it might just be marks. But there's a good bit of grooving in these rotors. Now these rotors, unless somebody put them back on, which is typically kind of rare, I believe are factory to the truck because they still have the clips that hold them against the hub. Those are not necessarily needed. That's something typically like your factory will do on some of these trucks. But the brake pads are not bad on the rear. I mean, like I said, it's more just I need to do the fronts for sure. Just do the whole thing, get it all over with, and I know it's all good. Now this side, there's more. Oh, 
there's a decent bit of grooving in this side. Uh, no cracks, but definitely, uh, yeah, it was definitely getting to be time. Same thing with this side. Clips are still on it. Just some grooving down on this side. So, yeah, we're going to get these, uh, get these brake calipers knocked off. We'll leave the hoses hooked up for now. And uh, we're going to start getting ready to throw everything back together. So, shoot, yeah, put a time lapse on and we'll get to work. Got that one done wasn't too bad just getting the rotor off like usual if you guys have dealt with rotors before especially on these bigger trucks you'll understand sometimes they get stuck on there pretty dang good so we got that one side done nothing too crazy came off went on easy uh but yeah i'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna turn this thing off for a second i'm gonna knock out this other side and we'll get back to you here in a minute and then uh we'll show the process on the front hopefully the front will go a little easier so might have just jinx myself, but I guess we'll find out. So I'll check it with y'all once this other side's done. Ooh, buddy. It feels good to have my truck back. We uh, we got it done last night. I basically quit filming after that one uh, that one time lapse that I did. That's going to be, you know, y'all just watched it. But I uh, didn't really run into anything too crazy. I had an issue with one of my bleeders. And then, so I had to go to O'Reilly's and try to get another one. And I live 30 minutes one way from an O'Reilly's. And so I called him up and said, hey, do y'all have a bleeder for this truck, rear caliper in stock? They said no, or they said yes, they do actually. They said yes. So I'm like, all right, pull it aside, you know, put hands on it, I'll come grab it. So I went on up there and picked that thing up, brought it home, didn't think nothing of it because I still had that bad bleeder. I put it back into the caliper real quick, the old caliper to hold everything together so that way it wasn't just sitting there leaking out a bunch of fluid the whole time and uh yeah long story short went and grabbed that one brought it back home not the right one so i take it back and uh take the caliper with me but of course it screwed up the threads for me hopefully hoping yeah hoping that the threads were just gunked up you know maybe just needed a little help getting in there wasn't the case definitely wrong thread and so i had to put it all back together because i needed my truck this morning it's actually monday the next day but i had to throw it all back together that pushed me into working into the dark work until about 10 30 was whenever i got done with the actual going out driving around the block 
set the brakes in, you know, test drive, make sure it works. And then got home, washed up, grabbed a quick bite, went to bed at midnight to wake up at 3 a.m. so I could go to Ada because I had to read in my CDL. So yeah, it was after the O'Reilly's ordeal, it kind of ended up into a thrasher of just trying to get it done. So I'm sorry about that, but if y'all have any questions about anything, uh, y'all just let me know. I'm gonna have in there, obviously this is pretense, but I'm gonna have in the video a little bit of how I bled the brakes. I bought a one man bleeder and it's all right. I'm gonna throw a little bit of little bit of comments on it, but I think I'm gonna make a separate video on that actual setup and then show another way that, I mean, you could just make it yourself, honestly, and it would be cheaper, better, I mean, well, cheaper, work about the same, but be better because of the size of the canister on the one-man bleeder that I bought. But, uh, yeah, that's really about it, guys. We're just running around town, getting some errands done. Had to go back to O'Reilly's, ordered the right, um, ordered the right banjos. Banjo bolts, we'll slap those in, re-bleed the brake, re-bleed that one brake, and, uh, that'll be a wrap on it, man. This thing stops ridiculous now. It is great. I would highly recommend doing this doing this upgrade to any of your daily driven vehicles, let alone if you got a three quarter ton truck. I mean, it's expensive. It's definitely not cheap. At the time of this video, I spent, and this, this is before the core charge. I'm heading into Midwest City now. I'm in Midwest City, but I'm heading over to return the cores now to Rock Auto. But yeah, it was like, it's $900 for the brakes. But man, if you got a little bit of money or you need to do brakes anyways, and especially if you don't need to do calipers, it's only, I think it was only 540 for just rotors and pads, which will do the same thing. Cause the calipers I got are just, they're just factory, you know, remanufactured replacements. But I figured since I was already buying everything through Rock Auto to get it, it was about the same price to probably a little bit better deal just to go ahead and buy the calipers from them too. So that's the only reason why I did that. But yeah, so say $600 if you don't need calipers and you'll be done, but it's a great idea. This truck stops on a dime. I'm sure if I can catch somebody off guard in the passenger seat without their seatbelt on, and I just put this thing on the mat, I'm sure I could throw them into the windshield. Like, it's pretty unreal the difference it made. But, uh, yeah. That's it, guys. We're just out cruising around, getting some errands done. Had to take Monday off, like I said, to get my CDL renewed. So, ended up having to take tomorrow off, too. Okay, guys, it's the next day. Um, we got a new brake bleeder or brake bleeder we got a new um, banjo bolt for one of the rear calipers because one of them was a little messed up and i ended up having to run the old washer that was still on it because i could not get the washer off because of the way the bolt is which i'll show to you but um we got us a new banjo for that all the rest of them i double checked everything looks good so far so let's get that tossed on and uh, i'll show you what's wrong with it Okay guys, this is why we had to change that one. Let's see if it'll focus in on it or not. If I set it down here. You can see if it'll focus on it. You can see how that hole is oblong or not just round anymore. And there's two cracks on the side. And you can also see on it how there's that divot right there whenever it came out. That thing did not want to hold on anymore. And that's as far as I can get the washer off without like forcing it to come off. And I needed my truck the next day, so I tried to get one from O'Reilly's. Like I said, that turned into be a big old ordeal. But we got it figured out. I got two of them. I got another one. I just bought two just in case. That way, if I uh, needed another one, you know, if any other any of the other ones were leaking, then I would have it instead of needing it. But uh, yeah. We're gonna bleed those brakes. Um, I got a one-man bleeder thing that I'm actually gonna make a video on them just by itself. That way I can kind of show more of just that without making this video too long. 
because I got a feeling this video might be decent already. So other than that, guys, check in for that one man bleeder thing. I'll tell you my thoughts on it. I'll go ahead and show it to you real quick. What I'll do with it. Here it is. It is this little contraption, which it's interesting. It works. It definitely works. So it's just that that bottle's just too small. You can't really do much. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get that bled. Probably gonna run around, bleed all the brakes, probably like one or two more of those little bottles out of it. And uh, we're gonna call it a wrap. So thanks for watching guys. If y'all got any questions, don't hesitate to put them down below in the comment section. I'll get back to you as fast as I can about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. We got other videos. Like I said, we'll have one on that one man bleeder coming up. And thanks for watching. Hey, we'll see y'all later. Peace.